Dave's back from holiday, so Norman and Dave have started to rivet the skins into place on the Doncaster rear fuselage KB976. Phil's finishing off around the door frame and fitting skin pins. Right, that's that old thing. We can do that. You want to do that? Okay. That will go on. Okay. Yep. Okay. That pulled up yeah. a bit. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll go back. Do some in the middle now and then we can then they're all in. Right. Yeah. Both rows. Good now we've got a few rivets in, doesn't it? Pardon? Looks good now we've got a few rivets in. It, it does, yeah. Yeah. Looking right. a very strong structure. That's it. Mm. The bottom row. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Another one in the bottom row, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Right, now be the row the, the, the stringer above. We're going above, yeah. One's there. Um, so down on that. Oh yeah, so I have that. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Then there should be one first forward. Okay. A bit more. I own holiday next week, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no, my holidays are done for this year now. Oh, well, <laughs> Gets round up. <laughs> yeah. Where the skins overlap yeah. each other, yeah, the back. distance between the rivets is hard. You can see yeah, in right. this horizontal line of rivets. Received this photo from Matt Drayton showing a 1940s skin pin which he had in his toolbox. And when I arrived at East County on the same day, John had found one in his toolbox. These are what, eight? And has that got a split shaft as well? Yeah. There's that one there that it, 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 it slides like that. This bit is attached to the, the bobbin bit. And that, that bit there has is, is, got the, the side bit on it. Yeah. That one. So, oh, but, nice. but the body is like a bent piece of metal. Yeah. And that just slides up and down. Yeah, exactly the same as that one. But yeah. See, an old modern one's got that plastic sleeve around it to protect yeah. the metal. The wartime ones oh, haven't. Well, yeah. right, that's it. I'm with it now. It goes past there, up yeah. to the thickness of the metal there, shall we say. Yeah. So that, that, that bobbin is one eighth. Yeah. And those two shafts together is one eighth. But when you pull that through, that's more than one. So therefore it can't come through the old. It's impossible for it to come through the old. Interesting job, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, just stumbled on one then and Advil. Advil. Yes. Advil. I, I think. Keith and John had pinned two of the skins to the frame of the French wing 
NX664. They have now started riveting the skins on. Les has now started to replicate the worn and damaged parts of the training edge from the French wing. This is one of the ribs. But it actually says these holes are drilled in conjunction with the other something part. else. Yeah. Yeah. So really it's just a case of popping a couple of holes in for tooling purposes. Yeah. Ones that we know that aren't affected by that. And, and, and then just leaving it. A terrible noise today for the next one. Yeah. This hole here, how did you cut it out? Um, well, effectively, you do a series of holes. Yeah. And then sort of chain drill it, basically. Oh, and then see. just use a, a little chisel to. to yeah. You've got a cutter the holes. then. Finish it off. But, yeah. but not, not to actually make the hole in the first instance, though. No. no, no, no. But it's so quick. Yeah, oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it doesn't take very long to just pop through it. There's a hole to put a little chisel yeah. and then you just clean up the hole afterwards. Yeah. So that'll be the new bit. And that's the old bit. And this is for the trailing edge. Trailing edge. Yeah. Yeah, we started going through them all and uh, yeah. we're gonna hit the easy to do one. And then some of them obviously will Putting that big sheet on, did you well, start in the middle, oh, work riveting up wise. riveting, yeah. We just started at various areas on around the outside in the middle and just tacked it in place and then filled in the gaps. Oh you tacked it in place, yeah. 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 Put the odd rivets so, that, in. so it wouldn't stretch or move around. Yeah. yeah. We contained it. Yeah. And then filled in the gaps. Yes. So yeah, yeah. And we've done the same with this one down the bottom. So some are in. Just some in. Oh, I now, see, now, yeah. Now we're filling the gaps. Filling the gaps in, yeah. Any more questions need answering? When you look at some of the shadows sometimes, you think, hello, oh, got a right bulge in there. Yeah, but it's not be a yeah, shadow. Yeah, we never say yeah, yeah, one on here, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I noticed that. Oh, it's gone there. Has it gone there? Well, it is. Yeah, there was like a wave one yesterday. Yeah, there was. And just there is. Yeah, we got these shadows. <laughs> we keep looking at this one. That yeah. looks like a crease. Yeah. yeah, it does, doesn't it? But it's so shadowed. You yeah. can feel that one, but it just, it's weird, it's a shadow, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Last night we were looking at it thinking, oh, where's that come from? Mm. Yeah. Blame on shadows. <laughs> Any crease will blame on shadows. Yeah. Rib. This is rib 22, the inboard rib of the French wing. These are a larger rivet and have to be cooked and use while they're hot, not sure of the temperature. John has to work out in which order they will be fitted. Rib 22, we're just uh, going to sort of nail it together, obviously with the grip of bins, and then work out in which order to assemble it so we don't box yeah. ourselves into a corner. Yeah. Because of the awkwardness of, of, of getting into places. Yeah. So just got to sit, sit there and sort of work out in which Order to do it. Oh, of course, I thought you'd riveted the um, um, anchor nut strips in, but I see now you've only no, taken them. Yet. Yeah. Not yet, because they're, they're, they're riveted through the skin as well. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that's what. Because then you, if, if, if something happened to the anchor nut strip and you needed to change it, and the rivets for the anchor nut strip were underneath the, the, the skin, yeah. it would make it rather awkward. Yeah. Yeah, I see now, yes.
Thanks, John. Okay. Original rib, part of the trailing edge from the French wing, still fitted with a Tufnell bearing. The control tube passes through this bearing when operating the flaps. That's the Tufnell bearing for the tube. So on that Tufnell then, you wouldn't need any lubrication? No. That's very clever stuff for its day, wasn't it? Pardon? Very clever stuff for its day. Oh yeah. Nasty stuff though. What? Mm -hmm. Health wise? Oh, yeah, car highly carcinogenic. What? By the, the fibres floating in the air? Well, is it, is it, it's the fibres and the resin. Because what it is is layers of material and then it's all resined up and then it's like heat bonded. Yeah. That's what makes it like a, like a rock. Yeah. But the, the stuff is highly carcinogenic. You get it on your lungs, it give you lung cancer. Yeah. Okay. I thought, Rosie the Riveter, you'd have a Morse code signal. <laughs> Two taps were OK and one for... Yeah, that's when he can't hear me, but he can hear me. <laughs> yeah, I've used that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> This is what Jacob was making the other day and he's now got it bolted in. Jacob was making and replacing the brackets on either side of the large D-ring. The D-rings are used when they have to tie the aircraft down in strong winds. Video was taken earlier in the year. This one will fit here, like that, in the... Yeah mirrored but I need to re I need to remake this one because we're not going to be using this type of fastener yeah um, so yeah I'm remaking it so I've got this blank so like this one you yeah. um, can put whatever sort of good Thank you. 